Okay, Assalamualaikum. We meet again in past year question on PSPM 1. Okay, so we talk, today we will talk about chapter 5 uh, from PSPM 2020 and 2021. So if you look at adjective, uh, this is example of work. Lah. Okay, so work equals to what? F dot S or FS cos theta. So the force that we learn in matriculation, the force is always constant. The S that is represent the displacement. So the difference between chapter 4 and chapter 5 is the S. Kalau you look at free body diagram, make sure you either include the S lah. Okay, so kita pergi tengok kepada soalan. Okay, so this is topic chapter 5. So chapter 5 in past year exam, PSPM, total dia adalah 8 marks. So ini agak besar lah 8 marks ya. So total is 8 marks. Uh, so make sure you belajar betul-betul lah chapter ni. Sebab chapter ni ramai yang suka salah lah ya. Okay, uh, dan chapter ni adalah sama uh, level dia dengan chapter 2. Uh, dia punya uh, tahap kesusahan dia sama dengan chapter 2 lah. Okay, so kita tengok. Sebelum saya mula kepada ni, okay, so saya nak remind you dalam chapter ni ada tiga jenis uh, benda yang you belajar. Yang first one adalah work and then you belajar pasal energy and then yang third adalah you belajar pasal power. So if you look at the question actually, kalau siapa yang dah buat puasa, they can find lah apa macam mana contoh soalan work. Soalan work selalunya adalah pasal graph, adalah pasal yang tadi object moving, uh, kena buat free body diagram. Uh, selalunya akan menggunakan W equals to F dot S lah Depend on the question You kena buat table uh, Tengoklah apa soalan dia Energy Kita ada tiga type of energy Iaitu Potential energy Kinetic energy And elastic So elastic adalah Hanya berlaku dekat material yang Elastic lah And then selalunya Conservation uh, Kita akan menggunakan uh, Conservation of energy lah Energy initial Sama dengan energy final uh, So selalunya soalan energy ni Adalah berkait dengan spring uh, Dia ada pasal yang bulat tu uh, Tengoklah soalan dia macam mana eh. Okay dan power lah sekali adalah Mesti ada Soalan tu mesti ada tanya pasal power lah Dan power ada dua jenis lah Iaitu power average Dan power instantaneous uh, So bila nak jawab soalan ni Selalunya student confuse Mana satu nak pakai ni It's too many Equation that you need to use So that's why you need to buat banyak latihan And then bila you buat latihan, you akan tahu Okay, nampak je soalan, oh I know, this is work uh, So nampak soalan energy, oh mesti guna conservation of energy Nampak je soalan power, dia akan tanya lah pasal power So you need to know lah apa power yang pakai Okay, so we move on Okay, look at question number 5A, 3 marks Okay, so this is graph F again S Okay, bila nampak, when you look at the question on the graph, don't be panicked. Okay, the question on the graph, you can have two only information. So, either you can use the gradient or you can use the area. So, bila you nampak je question graph, okay, okay, what I can get, what the gradient I can get, what the area I can get. So, if you look at this graph, from, sebenarnya from chapter 1 until chapter 5, this is the only two graph force that you have learned. The first one is F against T. You will get the area under the graph, you will get impulse. Uh, this is the second one lah. For F again S, the area under the graph will get the work. Uh, so, ini you akan dapat work lah. Work. Okay. So, baca, baca soalan. So, they give you a 2 kg. So, this is mass 2 kg object moving with initial velocity. So, they give you 5. And then, they give you attack, attack on the force of 2 newton. So, they give you F. Figure 5 show the force displacement graph from of the above motion. Determine the velocity. So, they ask you to find V when at 10 meter displacement. So, this is our S. Okay, so there's a lot of information kan. Banyak sangat information they give to you. So, kita list down all the information first. So, the mass they give you to you is 2 kg. The initial they give to you is ms negative 1. The force they give to you is 2 newton. And they give you S is 10 meter. So, the question asks you to find V. So, we need to find V. Okay, so because they give you the graph, so we have to use graph. So, what we know that work, we can find the work. So, kita tulis work equals to area under graph. Graph who? F against S. F against S. It's the best way to selalu praktis tulis graf apa yang you present tu. Graf apa yang you tengah buat F against T ke, F against K, S ke, V against T ke. Ha, okay. So, area under the graph ni, we can divide into two section lah. Section A, section B ni triangle. Itu, uh, ni triangle, ini bentuk square lah. So, square ni, you have 2 times 5 plus half times the height here is 2 
time the base here is 5. So this is the second one, half half can cancel. So you get this one is 10 plus this is 5. So you get 15 Joule. The unit for work is 15 Joule. But this is not our final answer. The question is not talking about they ask you to find work. They ask you to find velocity. So we need to find the velocity. Okay, what formula can relate the work and velocity? Work energy theorem. Work energy theorem. Please, yeah, this formula is very important. Ini sangat macam very, macam kalau kita tengok macam superstar, macam artis lah dia ni. Ha, very main character lah. Okay, so what is the formula for work energy theorem? W equals to delta K. Okay, please don't use, jangan buat machine ni. Saya nak you buat W net. Dia adalah W net, it's not any W. Dia mesti W total. Ha, w net equals to delta K. So actually the one that you get here is actually W net lah. Ini lah W total eh. So 15 equals to half mv squared minus half mu squared. Okay, so what we can factorize here, half and m lah, kita boleh factorize. So, 15 equals to half, my mass is given that is 2. So, v squared minus, and we already have u is 5 squared. Uh, so, dari sini, dua-dua ni boleh cancel lah. So, you left with 15 equals to v squared minus 5 squared. Okay, this one you use calculator lah, 15 this one minus 25 bawa ke sana. So, dia akan positive square root. Uh, so, your final answer, you will get 6.32 ms negative 1. So, total 3 marks. Okay, so we move on to the question number 5b. Okay, this is a lot mark. 5 marks, eh? besar yang 5 marks. Okay, a car is moved with a mass. So, they give you 1500 kt. This is mass. Moving with constant force, F acting along it in the direction of a motion. Upon achieve a speed of 20, it's deliver a maximum power 100 km watt. So they give you U. This is your U and this is the power that achieve we, uh, when it reach 20 ms negative 1. Later, the car enter 50 meter rough road. So meaning this is our S. So this S are when it's enter rough road. Ah, ini macam cerita yang lain lah. And decelerate. Ah, what's mean by decelerate? It's not turning back. Decelerate bukan turning back. Decelerate meaning the velocity is decreasing. Ah, macam tengok gambar rajah ni lah. Ah, so decelerate ni bukan maksudnya turning back. Nampak awak tengok dia punya meter ni. Dia ke bawah. Dia maksudnya dia slowing down. Decelerate we are talking about slowing down. Please yeah, be careful dengan the word decelerate. Dan speed dia telah reach berapa? 10. Ha. So that's why lah 10. Jangan letak negative ya. 10 tu positif. Sebab asal dia adalah 20 and then final dia adalah 10. So this is showing dia berlakunya proses deceleration. Okay so they ask you to find force. Ha. So kita kena cari force lah. Okay so apa yang kita kena buat? Okay, so kita akan tulis semua form, uh, information yang dia ada. So, so information dia ada adalah mass kg and then they give you speed initial eh, 20 and then they give you power 100 kilowatt and then you give you s ini adalah bila dia enter rough surface uh, rough surface yeah, and then they give you final v is 10 uh, so dan dia adalah proses deceleration Okay, so soalan pertama, what they ask about? They ask you uh, to find constant force. So, kita nak cari F lah. So, we need to find F. Okay, so, apa formula yang ada kait dengan F? They ask too many. Work equals to F dot S. Okay, since they ask you constant force, constant force ni sebab constant force memang dalam you punya syllabus sentiasa constant force eh, along direction ni. Okay, so kita akan gunakan apa formula yang ada lah. Contohnya saya akan guna power lah because they give you power. Ingat tak balik formula instantaneous power P equals to F dot V. Okay, kenapa kita boleh guna instantaneous power? Because dia constant. So at any particular time, at any time, force dia sentiasa constant. Kalau dia tidak constant force, dia tak boleh lah guna P equals to F dot V eh. Ha, depend on the question. So power saya ada tadi 100 kilo power of 3. So force saya nak cari, velocity saya guna 20 lah. Kenapa saya guna 20? Because dia berlaku uh, 100 kilowatt ni bila dia dah achieve speed 20. So yang ini I will get the answer is 5000 newton. 
So this is my number. Okay, question number two. Okay, question number two. They ask you to find work done to overcome the frictional force of the rough road. Okay, so they minta ada specific, specific word, yeah? word on a friction. So, ingat tak balik, work equals to F dot S. This F adalah forces. It's not only F only, yeah? Forces ni saya selalu cakap ada lima. Ada lima anak dia. Dia ni pokok. Dia ada pokok durian, pokok rambutan. Apa pokok-pokok tu tu? Iaitu normal, weight, tension, friction atau external force. So in this question number two, they focus on friction. So you need to find work on friction. So soalan ni dia suruh cari work F dot S. Ha, ini yang awak nak cari sebenarnya. Okay. So apa yang kita nak kena buat? Okay, kita akan menggunakan work energy theorem balik lah. W equals to delta K. So, because W ni W net. Ha, tolong eh, W net. It's not W biasa. Ini W net saya tengah buat ni. Okay, what is W net? W net adalah F net dot S equals to half MV squared minus half MU squared. Okay, the force net force because ini dah masuk uh, rough surface. Ha, kita punya soalan ni dah masuk rough surface sebab soalan minta dekat friction. Mula-mula tadi tak ada friction. Sekarang ni dia dah masuk enter region baru. Region yang ada rough surface. So my force, tadi kalau saya lukis kereta, kereta dia ada external force. Tadi yang 5000 tadi tu yang awak dapat tu. Okay, now dia ada halangan. Ha, ada halangan duduk je lah iaitu friction. So my F net sekarang adalah F minus friction. Haa. So, F net ni ramai confused. Saya pun tak faham kenapa ramai. When we talking about F net, it's F total. F yang buat membuat kerja. External force memang betul. Dia membantu dia yang menyebabkan benda tu bergerak. F kecil ni, F friction ni pun membuat kerja iaitu memberi halangan. Ha, dia ni macam tak buat tutorial, ha, tak buat short note dia lah ni. Ha. Dia tak buat kerja lah. Itulah. Dia pun buat kerja juga. Maksudnya memberi halangan kepada kejayaan dia ni. Okay, so dot S. Selalunya kalau kita buat F net, kita akan buat dot S. Cos kita adalah always zero lah. Juga F net ni dia sentiasa sama arah dengan S. So dia always, kalau saya nak buat S boleh, S cos zero. Dia akan sentiasa sama arah F net. Because I'm doing here is on F net ya. Eh. So half, my mass is constant 1500. My V tadi bila masuk rough surface tadi dia ada cakap dia dah kembali kepada 10. So 10 squared minus 20 squared lah. Okay, so my F tadi dapat 5,000 because we still using the same car. So, minus friction. Uh, my S is 50. Kenapa 50? Ni cos 1 sebab tadi rough surface sepanjang 50 meter. Uh, so, yang ini saya akan dapatlah benda yang sama lah. Okay, so 10 squared minus 20 squared. Okay, so semua ni boleh kira. Macam mana nak kira? Settlekan bahagian ni dulu. Okay, dah settle bahagian ni bahagi 50. Dah dapat bahagi 50. So, bawa dia 5,000 ni minus ni. So, you will get the friction lah. So, I calculate, I get my friction adalah 9,500 Newton. Okay, eh. saya dapat 9,500 Newton. Mana saya dapat, saya buat ni dulu. Okay, ni saya akan dapat negatif lah because this is big. So, you will get negative answer. So, I divide by 15. So, negative bila bawa ke sana dia jadi positif lah. Dia akan bertambah lah. So, that's why my friction is here. So, my friction is very high daripada external force. Sangat besar eh. Okay, the question is not talking. They ask not about friction. They ask you about tadi apa? Dia tanya you pasal work on friction. So, work on friction sama dengan friction dot S ataupun Fs cos theta. So, friction saya dah ada tadi. So, my friction tadi 9500. Okay, my S 50 sebab dia bergerak sepanjang 50 meter. Cos 180 degree. Kenapa cos 180 degree? So, look at my S. My S here is moving to the right. My friction is going to the left. So, it's 180 degree. So, here when I calculate, I will get my answer is negative 475000. Okay, I don't want your answer put in like this. Dia tekan ENG. Dekat calculator tu, cuba tengok calculator. Dekat nombor 8 atas tu ada ENG. ENG tu is refer to pada engineering mode. So, tekan engineering mode, you akan terus dapat negative 475 times 10 power of 3 and the unit for work adalah joule. So, inilah jawapan dia. 
Okay, so see you in the next PSPM or tutorial. Okay, bye. Okay, uh, before that, sorry, terlupa tadi nak mention. Okay, why do we get work uh, F tadi negative? Okay, ingat your work can be positive or negative. The positive or negative is not represent direction. Work, kalau you dapat negative value, meaning dia adalah work done by system. Maksudnya work done by system lah. Tak ada orang buat kerja. Tapi kalau work, you dapat positive, maksudnya work then on system on okay so be careful dengan word by dengan on so saya ajar kat student saya what the i did uh, teach them so ingat macam positive ni is very good on so you belanja kawan dia okay never mind i i buy you the me on me on me you belanja ah so it's a positive lah so positive by ni kita akan ingat dia sebagai negative so please yeah boleh ada positive and negative but it's not showing the direction it's just showing dia adalah on or by Okay, that's all. Bye.